All right, welcome to the last video in our solids series. This time we will be looking at the sphere. Please, please, please do your math teachers a favor. And remember that the pH makes an F sound. This is a sphere. It looks like a basketball. A spear is something that is sharp and pointy and used for hunting. So our sphere has zero bases. What it does have is a circular cross section passing through its center. What I mean by that is if I were to cut my cylinder all the way through, and open it up, I would have two congruent circles. And that circle that goes right through the center of the sphere is going to be where we get our information from. So that circle has a center. It's also the center of the sphere. And that circle has a radius. Now that circle could also have a diameter if it went all the way across. As soon as our line went from one edge of the sphere to the other through the center, we would have a diameter. And just a reminder that a diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Now you're getting a two for one deal here because we are going to talk about two formulas for the sphere. I can hear your squeals of excitement through the internet. We're going to look at the volume of the sphere just like we did with anything else. The volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All you need is a radius. This would be the amount of air it takes to inflate a basketball. When we talk about the surface area of a sphere, we're going to have 4 pi r squared. And this would be like the amount of rubber covering a basketball. Could be the leather on a baseball, all sorts of things. So let's go use them. Let's go find some spheres. Now this only says to find the surface area. It has volumes underneath. I think what we're going to do is combine them into one problem. These say to find it to the nearest tenth. Since it says surface area, we'll do that first. All I need is a radius. So here's my radius. My radius is three feet. I always start by writing the formula. So the surface area for my sphere was four pi r squared. 
I keep the four. They don't tell us what to use for pi, so we'll go with 3.14. And our radius is three. And we can't forget the squared. I'm going to pull up Desmos because I love you guys, but I don't want to do that in my head. Or maybe because I love you guys, I'm not going to do that in my head. Dang it. There we go. Now it works. So I get 113.04. We are measuring in feet. And we're dealing with area. So this is square feet. Let's look at our rounding requirements. We're rounding to the nearest tenth again. So here's my tenths. Not right there. There's my tenths place. That means I'm going to take a look at the four. I know four is less than five. That means I'm not going to mess with the zero. I'm going to leave the zero just like it is. So this is 113.0 square feet for our surface area. Now we'll go find volume. If students are going to make a mistake calculating surface area and volume for a sphere, it's that they mix up the cubed and the squared. Cubed goes with volume, squared goes with area. I'm going to use 3.14 again for the radius, or for um, pi. My radius is 3, and it's raised to the third power. This is definitely, at least for me, a Desmos problem. So I get 113.04 cubic feet. Now we've already rounded this, so we're not going to go through that whole spiel again. When we round it, we end up with 113.0 feet cubed. These don't change a whole lot. We'll go do one more. We'll do one that has a diameter. We'll do this one instead of a radius, just so you have an example of each kind to refer back to. This one tells me that diameter is 15.6, but I don't care about diameter. I need radius. So 15.6 divided, not 156, divided by 2. That means my radius is going to be 7.8 inches. Now that I have my radius, I can pull out my formulas. Surface area is 4 pi r squared. We'll use 3.14 for pi again. And for that radius, we'll substitute 7.8. Four times three point one four times seven point eight squared. That's a fun decimal. So we get seven sixty four point one five and we're measuring in inches. We need to round to the nearest tenth. That's the one. So we look at one place beyond that. We're looking to look at the five. Five 
is greater than or equal to 5. So we're going to bump the 1 up to a 2. We're dealing with surface area. And area is squared. So the surface area of this particular sphere is 764.2 square inches, approximately, because we did round. So we will knock out the volume. We know the radius, the radius is still 7.8. It hasn't changed. So it becomes another radi another Desmos problem. I don't know if you know this about Desmos, but if you already have something typed in and you need to type in something similar, you don't have to retype the whole thing. You can just go in and edit that last line that you need. I don't know what I'm going to do with those extra three seconds I will have in my life, but it feels like it was a little less effort for me. Okay, so we have 1,986.79 1, inches cubed, but we're not finished. We have to round to the nearest tenth. That's one place behind the decimal, so we're going to look at the 9. 9 is greater than or equal to 5, so that means we bump the 7 up to an 8. So if we were to inflate that particular ball, we would need 1,986.8 cubic inches of air. We are going to declare victory on spheres. If you have further questions or need help or just want to come by and soak up some good old-fashioned math wisdom, feel free to come and see me.